Hello everyone, we will continue the topic IDOX and in this video we will talk about IDOC architecture. Now we all know every IDOC has a unique number. So whenever any IDOC will generate, there is always always three types of information or three types of record in that IDOC. But this first information, it is called as control record. Second information is called as data record. And the third information is called as status record. So whenever any IDOC will generate, always these three records are there in that IDOC. Or you can say three types of information in that particular IDOC, which will help us to analyze that IDOC. Now, what we will do, we will take a IDOC and we will see the various things into that IDOC. Now, in SAP, WE02 or WE05 is the transaction code to display the IDOCs. And in the future, whenever we will generate our IDOC, we will come to this transaction code. As of now, we will just see the existing IDOC. So what I will do, I will go to WE02 or WE05 transaction code. Suppose I am going to WE02 transaction code. I will put some date range and I will display the IDOCs. And you can see every IDOC has a unique number. Suppose I will click on to this IDOC number. So every IDOC has three types of information or every IDOC has three types of records. Control record, data record, status record. Now, what is control information? If I will double click on control record, control record provides the control information of the IDOC. Now the question comes, what do you mean by control information? Control information means what is the basic type or IDOC type? What is the message type? What is the port? What is the partner number? And along with this, it will also provide the direction of the IDOC. If the value is 1, it means the IDOC is outbound. If the value is 2, the IDOC is inbound. So this IDOC is inbound. Data is coming into the SAP system. So control record always, always provide the control information. Control information means what is your IDOC type? What is your message type? What is the port? What is the partner number? And along with this, it will provide the direction also. Means it is inbound or outbound. If the value is 2, it means it is inbound. If the value is 1, it means it is the outbound. And in the future or upcoming videos, we will learn what is message type, what is IDOC type, what is port, what is partner number. But as of now, just control record provides you the control information. Now, this control information of the IDOC always, always stores into this table. E-D-I-D-C. Last C means it is for control. Okay, suppose. I will go to this table EDIDC. Same to same information you can find into this table also. Suppose I will go to SC11 transaction code. I am displaying this table. I will go to contents of the table. It is clearly saying control record of the IDOC or control information of the IDOC. Suppose I will pass same to same IDOC number here. If I will go to execute, you can see it's clearly, clearly saying, but is that direction value? Direction value is 2. It means it is a inbound IDOC. You can see it is clearly giving the information. What is the 
message type what is the basic type what is the message type what is the what is the basic type what is the message type what is the part what are the partner details means what is the port number what is the partner number everything everything is stored into this table everything is stored so you can check the control information of the idol from this table also or you can directly go to we02 transaction code and you can check the control information now we will come on to second second part of the idoc that is data record data word itself is saying it will provide the data of the idoc suppose if i will expand this idoc i will if i will explain expand data record you can see in that data record we have the segment just wait in the future we will learn what segment is if i will click on to the segment you can see we have two columns in the segment what is the employee id value 2 what is the employee name rahul so just see this is the data data of the idoc so what is the data record what is data record it provides the whole data of the idoc means what is the data in that idoc number and data is stored in the segments is data is stored in the segment yes data is stored in the segment this segment has two columns employee id employee name and what is the employee id value 2 what is the employee name it is rahul so data record gives us the data of the idoc and whenever you will expand the data record you will see the segment and in the segment we have the data available now similarly we have a table available for data record also and the table name is edid4 suppose i will go to this table i will go to the table edid4 i will display this table and you can see it is clearly saying idocs data record same to same idoc number i will pass here and you can see same to same information i am getting this is your segment this is your segment as of now we are not covering what segment is just see same to same segment information you found there you find there this is the segment name this is the segment name and you can see if you see the data what is the data 2 and rahul what is the data 2 and rahul 2 and rahul so just same to same data you can find into edi d4 table also now we will move on to third type of record and the third type of record is your status record word itself is saying it will tell us the status of the idoc status of the idoc means it is successful or it is in error state now scp has provided the specific values also if we have 1 to 42 values are there it means those are the values for outbound idocs means if we are sending the idoc from sap we are sending the data is going out from the sap system at that time the status values are from 1 to 42 and for the inbound the values are 50 to 75 we will see the status i will expand the status record you can see we have inbound idoc we have inbound idoc and you can see the values values are 53 62 64 50 but is the range 50 to 75 all these are between 50 to 75 yes so sap has given a specific number range also if it is between 50 to 75 it means those are inbound idocs now same to same thing we can check into EDIDS table. So I will go to the table EDIDS. I will display this table. S means status. And it is still clearly saying 
idoc status record table i will go to the contents i will put same to same idoc number and you can see we have four types of status there it is just four types of status means because we have we idoc has to go for different different stages suppose if i will go to the last if i will expand the last status you can see what 53 means what 53 means if i will go to 53 status i will just show you what is the meaning of 53 status status 53 means it is successfully posted if i will show you 53 53 means yes application document posted it's because to post the idoc idoc has to go for various stages yes so this information you can check from edids table now what do we studied in this particular video in this video we studied that if someone ask you to analyze this idoc you can go to we02 or we05 transaction code on every idoc every idoc has three types of information there or you can say every idoc has three types of records there first one is control record second one is data record and the third one is status record control record means it is control information of the idoc means what is the partner number what is the port what is the message type what is idoc type it will also tell the direction that idoc is inbound or idoc is outbound one is for outbound two is for inbound data record data record word itself is saying it will give us the data of the idoc yes and whenever you will expand the data record data is available in the segments segments and we can check into table edi d4 third is your status record it will tell your idoc is in error state or idoc is in the success state status of the idoc values 1 to 42 are for your outbound idoc and values 50 to 75 are for inbound idoc and your control record is stored into edidc table data record stored into edid4 table and your status record stored into edids table in the next video we will learn what is idoc type what is message type what is segment we will learn all these terminologies. So that's it in this video. Thank you.